Okay, Spring Mills Depot unboxing. Seems to be a very nice package. The Cascade Green FGE version of the DOD EX DOD transport car. So So we have a clamshell type container here. Model is well secured, wrapped in that very lightweight plastic. Um, these up here are container pedestals that you can glue to the, the deck. I believe on the back of the box it said to use uh, just a little bit of ECC to do it. Okay, not sure where I saw to do it that way. All right, so we have Three axle Buckeye trucks with already weathered rusted wheels on them. Uh, real KD couplers, coupler uncoupling levers, uh, air hose here. Really hoping this is in focus. Um, full brake line detail, um, including right here would be, and here, is a handle where you could release air pressure. So that's very nice looking underneath there. Lettering appears quite crisp. We'll get to some real details in a bit. Okay, so. This car comes out at just under 10 inches, so it needs to be somewhere between 5.5 and 6 ounces. Okay, I messed up here. The scale was set in a bad area, and so... I moved the scale, and as you can see from the photo you're looking at now, the car actually weighs 4.7 ounces. Okay, that's the Cascade Green one by FGE. Second car. is olive green. It is the Ortner version of this car. Okay. Should have taken the rubber bands off ahead of time. Uh, canopy glue or micro clear to attach the pedestals. For the containers. Same clamshell container. Um, same of the container uh, pedestal type things. No loose parts in these uh, boxes. Very well packaged. Okay, 
has all the markings on the top deck again six or three axle buckeye trucks um, a lot of under deck underneath detail for the brake lines also KD couplers and in detail such as air hose and uncoupling levers and the air brake or air system release valves here we have the brake handle over here at the end should be the same length it appears to be as can be seen this one is also 4.7 ounces And pretty obviously my stand here is not level. Also have from Spring Mills Depot, the olive green container pack number three, which contains one 20 foot Connex, one Tricon and one Quadcon. So let's see what those are. Is also clamshell packed. So this is the quad con, and it's actually four containers, um, frequently used by the army. I have seen these um, when I was on active duty. I mean, as far as containers go, they're really pretty boring, but they are well detailed. Um, they have USAU uh, markings on the end. I'm not positive that can be seen. And pretty detailed door lever, door lever and end details. And they're hollow, so you can fill them with as much weight as you want to. These are what the container pedestals are meant to be used with. There's a Tricon. Similar idea for three containers in the same size format. Again, they're a container. They have the markings on them, and they are also hollow, so you can add weight. The last one is the standard 20-foot Con-X, which is basically a very similar to a 20-foot uh, ISO container with just end doors. It's got the place where it can fit on a chassis. And you'll notice it appears that they're all set up so that three of them, three 20 footers, will fit on one of the cars using the included container pedestals to hold them in place. All right, I'm gonna do one last car. This is not from Spring Mills Depot. This is an Atlas Trainman ACF 3560 covered hopper for Potash Corp. Um, as a trainman, it's probably not an exact replica, but I saw cars that were very similar to this on my prototype just a few weeks ago, and as a short three bay hopper it fits much more comfortably on my layout so 
let's get this open. I bought this at Eugene Toy and Hobby when I stopped there during the 2022 PNR Regional Convention. All right, it's a standard Atlas type clam shell with the indents that hold everything together. I'll put this down so I don't drop the thing. This is likely to be loud. more of the very thin plastic that protects the paint schemes. Uh, for a Trainman product, these are really nice. Um, should be able to see that it includes conspicuity stripes. Um, the paint job does look a little possibly on the faded side, which would be perfectly prototypical actually. I've got a train line here that goes, I guess those are train lines, but I'm not actually positive. Um, being train man, we are talking a lower level of detail. Accumate couplers. Um, happily, with that hole there, it makes it really easy to add weight if you need to. So let's check this out. Four or six inches which is, means it's supposed to weigh about four ounces. Clear all this off. Once again, wrong weight. This is about 3.8 ounces, so it is barely underweight, if it could even be considered underweight. I will probably add more weight anyway. The product I'll probably be using is Liquid Gravity out of by Deluxe in our Deluxe Materials. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It may be steel shot or something like that. It is magnetic, um, but it's a bunch of very, very small balls that you can Basically, just feed where you want it, glue it into place. Or just, if you get it into a car that has low spots that you can feed it into the end of, like this, well, that's what's going to happen there. Um, another thing Spring Mills Depot set was tie-down chains. 20 of them in this package and right now I'm just hoping that I don't start losing them immediately. Let's grab a pair of scissors. That should do. things are so small I almost can't see them. Hope you can see this. This one end is a block which I believe hooks into a slot. I may just have to photograph these but there's a block on one end goes to the chain which then goes to a hook on the other end. The hook, I s expect, would be hooked to whatever vehicle you are chaining down. So there's 20 of them in the package. Okay, late ad here. As you can see from the photos, the 20-foot Connex is 0.6 ounces. The Tricon is 0.4 ounces. And the Quadcon is 
1.3 ounces. Thank you for watching.